cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey everybody, good Let's morning. I have a fun recipe that I think the whole family will love. So if you're looking for something different to make for dinner tonight or this week, I think this is perfect. It's another new slow cooker recipe, and you know me, I love my slow cooker. It is my new BFF, and uh, this is one of the recipes in my latest cookbook. So it's super simple, just a few ingredients, and like I say, it's something different. We all get stuck in a recipe rut, so this is something new and different. Shredded chicken burritos. So if your family likes Mexican food, they're going to love this, and this is really healthy. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is something that um, I have fallen in love with, are these slow cooker liners. You can just pick them up at Festival Foods. They're right in the aisle with the, the foil and the uh, saran wrap and that type of thing, and they just keep you from having more dishes to do, and I'm all about less dishes. So, I mean, you don't have to do these, um, but they're just a great tip when it comes to making cleanup easy. So you line your slow cooker with these liners. And then I pick up some dad's boneless, skinless chicken breasts, uh, four to six, and we're just gonna get them, plop them right in our slow cooker. And that's why I love my slow cooker because on those really busy weekday, uh, weekdays where you've got a lot going on after work and after school. My daughter's a dancer. We have dance lessons until sometimes 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. Um, you know, there's no time to make dinner. So if I can get up five minutes earlier, get everything in my slow cooker, and then head out the door to do my thing, I come home after a long day and late night, and dinner's done, and the house smells amazing. So seasoning these chicken breasts with some salt and pepper, and that's really important because we're not going to take the time to brown them, so it's real important to season them. You could also season them with some chili powder, some cumin if you wanted. That's totally up to you. Uh, now we're going to add one can of uh, diced green chilies. These aren't spicy. They're just full of flavor. We're just going to dump those in there. And about a cup and a half of chicken stock. I love the box chicken stock because I can just take out what I need, put the top on, and then put this back in the refrigerator, use it for another recipe down the road. So that's it. That is what we're doing so far. Chicken breast seasoned with salt and pepper, a can of green chilies, and some chicken stock. The lid goes on, out the door you go, put it on low, come home um, six to eight hours later, and what's gonna happen is the chicken is just gonna um, uh, fall apart. So use a couple of forks and shred it up. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add uh, your favorite mild, medium, or hot, uh, chunky, picante sauce. So add some of that in there. Shred that chicken up with a fork. And there you go. The extras freeze terrifically. I'm going to use these. This is my shredded chicken burritos. This recipe would also work great to make shredded chicken tacos. Uh, you could do enchiladas with it. You could put it on top of a taco salad. I've just got some flour tortillas here. And I told you this is a pretty healthy recipe. So you could do whole wheat uh, tortillas. And then depending on the uh, fixings, you know, you can uh, do light sour cream or you can skip the sour cream altogether. You could do a little bit of cheese, lettuce. So totally up to you how you want to dress this up. We'll do just a little bit of shredded cheddar, cheddar cheese, uh, maybe some a dollop of sour cream, and maybe some black olives, and there you go. Everybody can kind of dress up their, um, you know, burrito how they want. And uh, I think the whole family will really love these. Maybe a little bit of fresh cilantro too. So there you go, my shredded chicken burritos. This one is a winner. Uh, you can find the recipe online. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. And again, it's one of the recipes in my new cookbook. We'll be back, stay with us. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.